should work. Hello. I was setting up a new printer yesterday and um and the Wi-Fi was on the new printer. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was listening to your opera singing. Oh my! When was that? <laughs> this this morning I was listening to it. Like you're amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm just curious. Like, was that something you started when you were young, or? It is. It is. So, wow. mother was actually a professional opera singer. And so, she wow. opera. So, I was raised with it as a boy. And I started voice lessons when I was eight and then sang with the Orlando Opera Company when I was 12, 18. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, classical music has been part of my life from the beginning. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I just saw like a, like a 10 second clip and I was like, wow. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, yeah, so welcome. Welcome. Um are you okay to leave today? Oh my gosh, yeah. Thank you so okay. much for the opportunity and Oh yeah. Yeah. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, of course. Um so we always um before we begin, we just have a few intentions that we like to go through. Um today we want to pray for Alex um and her family. Today, as it's the one year anniversary of the death of their um, daughter, Dorothy. Um, yeah, so it's been a year, and we want to pray for their family and Dorothy. And then from Cheryl, praying for our country in the conversion of the hearts of our hearts to open our eyes and hearts to seek and follow Jesus in each day in every encounter. And then from Adriana, for my daughter, Kira, as she gets ready to make college decisions that she trusts in God's plan. And then I always like to pray for everybody else here. And, and we're doing this um, fasting program um, that I'd like to pray for everybody for, too. Um, it's called the Hill 15 program. But um, anything you'd like to pray for, Father? Yes, always. Um, as an assistant vocations director, I always like to pray for an increase in vocations to the peace of religious life. I pray in a special way for your children and any vocations they might have for the peace of religious life. And everyone who's watching their children as well. Beautiful, beautiful. We want to pray for that too. And in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, His only Son, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and died, and was buried. Thirdly, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and took up the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. And then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Spirit, Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The intention of our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be come, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And let us pray with today the luminous mysteries of our Lord, meditating on them, asking them to grow close to our hearts. In the first luminous mysteries, the baptism of our Lord, the great mysteries of the faith, they remind us that Christ comes to adopt us as his beloved sons and daughters of the Father. The same voice of the Father declares that this is my beloved Son, came to each every one of us in our own baptism. We live according to that sacred dignity that we allow Christ to form and to shape us in that way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive. us, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery, the wedding feast at Cana. It's no coincidence that our Lord's first miracle was done at a wedding. And this is the theology of that great theologian of the church, St. John the Evangelist, who teaches us that Christ came to be a spouse, a spouse to his bride of the church. And this is why the Blessed Virgin Mary also must be present at the feast of Cana as well as at the foot of the cross. And therefore, Cana was nothing but a prelude to the great wedding feast of the Lamb to take place on Calvary. And so we thank God in a special way for coming to be the spouse of the church, for coming found his one holy Catholic apostolic church. And we reflect on this mystery for the gift of Our Lady and the fact that he did not leave us orphans, but gave us a mother to love us so tenderly and so beautifully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us in the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. This mystery teaches us the mission of evangelization. And the virtues of these mysteries is an increase in apostolic zeal and a courage to proclaim the truth of the gospel to all the ends of the earth. May the Lord give us the same zeal for salvation of souls that he had within his own sacred heart, burning with a passion for the truth of his father's mercy and a desire to share the grace of the spirit to the whole world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration of our Lord. 
there are times when we enter into the intimacy and the beauty of Christ and we wish to abide there and to stay there. But the Lord calls us into the world to preach the gospel. And let us always remember that before we preach the gospel, we must first have communion with Christ, that prayer, contemplation, study, mysticism are always the foundations of evangelization. But let us also remember that we are called to evangelize. Go forth, not to build tents upon the mountain as Peter desired, but to go back down the mountain, so that we may bring others to dwell upon it, the great mountain of Catholicism, the great mountain of our Catholic faith, of the Eucharist, of the sacraments of the church so that all may see the transfigured glory of Christ our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Holy Eucharist at the Last Supper, the most unique and profound thing about Christianity, what distinguishes it among all the religions of the world, is that it's not built upon an idea or philosophy or ethics or morals or a book. It's rooted in a person, a person who's still alive, a person who dwells in our midst, not in an abstract or an imaginative way, but actually concretely, sacramentally. Jesus leaves us the Eucharist as the tangible way to manifest and to participate in his life and his love. And there is no possibility of sainthood without a deep love and devotion to the most blessed sacrament. So we offer up this decade in a special way for a reclaiming of the dignity and sacredness of liturgy around the world, especially the celebration of the Holy Mass, for an increased devotion to the blessed sacrament in our own country, and also for the conversion of hearts of all those who are away from the Catholic faith through the sacrifice of the Mass and the Holy Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. And for the Hell Holy Queen, I would love to chant the Salve Regina. Oh, yes. Ask Our Lady to intercede yes. for us. And for those of you who know the Salve Regina at home, it's just simply the Hell Holy Queen, but chanted in Latin. And, and the chant that you're about to hear is a very ancient chant of the church. It's traditionally said, every evening by priests before they go to bed, praying Compline or also religious brothers and sisters. And also traditionally pray for those who are dying, preparing to go home, asking Our Lady to comfort them. Let us chant this hymn together, asking Our Lady to enfold us in her precious mantle, intercede for us with her most beautiful and loving immaculate heart, and that she may truly be our mother. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita lucedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exul est divii heve. A te suspiramus, dementes et flentes, in hoc lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, Milos tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc auxilium ostende. O oh, clemens, O oh, 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 pia, O oh, 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 ducis, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O most holy mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O oh, God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, Son. and of the Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Wow. Thank you.
No, thank you. <laughs> what a beautiful way to start the day. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> thank you so, so much. I oh, my goodness. <laughs> After the church, I want to thank you. It is so amazing to have women like you in the life of the church. To have a loving so wife, amazing. loving mother, a woman who truly loves Our Lady and who's modeling her life after her, and all these amazing wow. well that are following you on Instagram. So just <laughs> that, as a priest, each and every one You're of so you nice. fill my mind and heart with so much joy and pride. And I am not worthy to serve you as a priest, but I'm thankful that God allows me to be so. And so thank you so, so much for your devotion and your faith and praying the rosary. It's just, it is magnificent. I love wow. it. <laughs> You're great. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just, <laughs> I'm so grateful this morning. Yeah. Um, so we do always like to ask our guests um, their rosary story. Like, sure. Do you, yeah, do you remember when you first came across the rosary, when it first really had an impact on your life? Whatever you feel comfortable sharing. Absolutely. So my mother was actually discerning to become a religious sister, a Dominican. And uh, from the beginning, the Rosary and Our Lady was a huge part of my life. So uh, I was consecrated in the womb to the Blessed Virgin Mary by my mother. I'm the firstborn and specifically consecrated for the priesthood. And lo and behold, I was actually born on the feast of February the 11th, Our Lady of Lords. So a Marian feast day after the consecration of Our Lady. Uh, and so our mother from the beginning claimed me as her own, thank God. And she's been a huge part of my life ever since. Uh, so praying the rosary since I was a boy. And uh, I was raised in a Puerto Rican mission parish, actually. My mother's of Puerto Rican descent. And uh, St. Catherine of Siena, Catholic Church in Kissimmee, Florida. And they prayed the rosary every single day. Uh, and so I grew up just having the rosary on my side. Um, and I don't go anywhere without it in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. day, I was a boy in my right yeah. pocket. Uh, and I clench it and I hold it close. As St. Padre Pio says, it's the greatest of weapons mm -hmm. in the fences. Um, and so, yeah, the rosary has been a steadfast companion my entire life. And, and specifically Our Lady as well. Just many people, and mainly do through several theological influences. And here's, forgive me as I put my professor hat on. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a theologian, so this is sort yeah. of how I think of things. But Our Lady is significant not just because she's Theotokos, not just because she's God-bearer. Our Lady is significant above and beyond that. Her motherhood had been super expanded by the grace of her son, her womb, to also encapsulate the entirety of the church. Again, this is why she must be present at three pivotal events, the incarnation and nativity, the wedding feast at Cana, and then the crucifixion and Pentecost. Notice how St. Luke places her at Pentecost. Reason being is the spirit cannot enter the world unless Mary's present because she spouse the spirit. Mary is the Catholic church in person and as person. And so what happens at Pentecost is that the church comes to share in partially what Mary shares in fully by the grace of the spirit. And what we're actually receiving through the Immaculate Heart at Pentecost, the grace of the spirit as church. So there's a really, really beautiful uh, devotion of my own heart to Our Lady that came through the rosary and like years of meditating upon that. And, wow. and it is just a magnificent, magnificent gift. <laughs> and I, wow. I strongly encourage everyone to grow in devotion to Our Lady. And she will be the one through whom Christ, Christ gave himself to the world through our mother. So why would he not want to save the world through his mother? Um, it's just very obvious to me. So this is, his mother is the way that he wishes to give himself to the world. Uh, and this is, again, why the church is referred to as Mother Church. That's not poetic, yes. medieval. You know, that's because the church is gendered. She's not new. Right. The church wow. has this, this gendered capacity. She is the bride of the bridegroom. And that's encapsulated in the heart of Our Lady, who's the most perfect and first of Catholics. Mm -hmm. uh, so we pray for, continue asking and begging her for her immaculate intercession. Wow. Mm -hmm. So your, but your mom ended up also being opera, right? I'm, yeah. I'm going back to like how like <laughs> this amazing human was created. <laughs> <laughs> so but you're amazing human yes <laughs> she was just super mom you know she had she has four kids she wanted more but unfortunately wow. she ended up getting cancer actually so she wasn't able to have any more children she really was super wow. super open to life um but and even that was beautiful to see her in her own motherhood to suffer that like her ache for more children but then like wow. to allow that that ache to turn into this just super abundant gift of loving motherhood 
um, and allowing the Holy Spirit to change that so that she put everything into her four children. You know, um, mm. you could see the fruits of that, you know, the fruits of the lives of her children. So thank God, you know, thank the Lord. But, um, but yeah, so she loved classical music growing up. My grandfather's a musician. She's a musician. And uh, she studied opera in her early college years. But again, she was also discerning religious life with the Dominicans from uh, Puerto Rico. They were called the Dominicans of Fatima. Her best friend actually went into the convent and is now one of the superiors of a convent, um, Sister Mary of Jesus. And so we also grew up seeing Sister Mary of Jesus occasionally, and she would come over and visit. Um, and so having nuns and priests around you your whole life, I mean, that's just a great way to be raised, you know, for us as kids. It right. was just it was very normal to see a priest and a nun in the house, you know, it's wow. just like, it's what we grew up with. Yes. Um, well, is I there, think. is there advice you have maybe for us as lay people to, to be more inclusive of that or like invite them into your home? Most I've first, always wondered. The, yeah. The first thing is I have a whole podcast on this. If y'all want to listen to it, um, called making your families holy. And there's also one that's called, um, raising boys into men. Um, wow, okay. Podcast with Brandon Bott, who's his word on fire, and a yes. great, great guy, my best friend as well. And, and um, our podcast is called the Burrowshire Podcast. So you can find it on my Facebook page and links to it. And it also has its okay. own. Um, but we have a lot of podcasts on these different topics. Okay. So I'll sort of summarize the podcast and you know, say this in 100 words or less, which is impossible for me. <laughs> but, okay. I know. I know. We'll share it here so that they can, we'll link to it so they'll be able to find it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But real simply, number one is to pray that God will send good and holy priests into your life and religious sisters. And, and the Lord is generous with that. You know, like my mother prayed for years for that. Like, you know, may my children be raised in this kind of Catholic environment. So number one. And the number two is once you encounter a holy priest or religious sister, to go ahead and just express to them your, your, admiration you know it's very important to say i've noticed that you're a really holy sister i know that you're a really holy priest um you know i just want to thank you for your vocation and if you're ever free we'd love to have you come over like see our kids you know visit with them and as much as we can include priests and religious in our lives of our children it will absolutely form them because remember that in the divine plan mothers and fathers were not intended to raise their children alone it was intended to be done in the context of the Catholicism, which necessarily mandates a participation of the church, specifically the clergy and religious. Wow. So parents are supposed to raise their children with priests and religious. Now we know why Satan and his evil, perverted genius was able to construct the sexual abuse crisis. One of the main goals of this crisis was to sever the relationship between priest and children specifically, because if priests and children are severed, now children cannot be influenced by the sacramental life of the church, and they can't be influenced by the sacrificial victimhood of Christ and his priesthood, which means that they're now lacking in an aspect of their human formation. So there's an all overall sort of diabolical master plan to this that we have to reclaim. And that's been one of my main focuses here at the parish is how do we rebuild the trust between families and priests that were broken by the abuse crisis? Yeah. And what can we do to reestablish that ideal formation of families that are intended by Christ and the infrastructure of his church. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, so we'll share that. It's the Borough Shire podcast yes. um, with Brandon. Okay, um, so the last question I'm going to ask, because we could keep you here for a long time, because um, <laughs> they also want a blessing. But could you also just share your vocation story? Yeah. With yeah. Us? yeah. It's funny, because I have mass at 830. But, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you have to go. Okay, yes. No, you should go. Um, are on your Instagram. <laughs> so, and so, day, so I'm like, okay, we'll all be late to Debbie Mass today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, but that being okay. said, yeah. so quickly, I'll just say, yeah. this is a very devout Catholic family. My father was actually um, an atheist the first several years of my life. He converted to Catholicism later on. Um, mm. But very, very virtuous, loving man. Um, very devout Catholic now, an incredible man of virtue. So between having his masculine virtue, my mother's great feminine virtue and her whole innate mm -hmm. holiness, um, that was very formative for my own vocation. And I first said I wanted to become a priest when I was 12 years old, and I haven't said anything since. Uh, <laughs> so I, you know, I felt Christ calling me in the middle of the mass, <laughs> a priest actually sacrificing the Holy Eucharist. And I remember looking at the crucifix, and just something in me said, that's what you're supposed to look like when you grow up. 
meaning the crucifix. Wow. And I, I prayed, and I didn't really realize in my boyish mind what that meant at that moment. But as I right. prayed about it as a grown man, now, I, of course, I completely understand. What is a priest? A priest is a man who lives as Christ crucified so that the rest of the world can live as Christ resurrected. See, the wow! The center of the priesthood is this sacrificial character that every breath that a priest takes is meant to be commended to the, to the arms of the Father as Christ did from the cross. So every breath that the priest takes is, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And that handing over of the priest's spirit every day through the Eucharist, through the sacrament of reconciliation, through anointing, through pastoral counseling, spiritual direction, whatever it may be, every handing over of the priest's spirit then is what builds within the life of the church, within the womb of Mother Church, this capacity to bear its children. So it's, you also see the spousal, innate, relational character of the priesthood and also Holy Mother Church. Um, and that's why priests, in the end, are celibate. It's not because we're not married. It's the opposite, because we are married. <laughs> yeah, I, right, right. Yes, right. And so the celibacy of the priesthood is not a sterile character. It's the complete opposite. It's an eternally fecund character that bears eternal life. So I knew when I looked upon the cross of Jesus that that's what I was supposed to be when I grew up. And then later on, I, that matured more and more into the priesthood of Jesus Christ. And every day I, I seek to live from the cross. Again, it's just... I love being crucified for the sake of my bride. Um, the most joyful moment of Christ's life was on the cross. Never did he have more joy because that was the moment in which he gave everything for his beloved. Wow. And that's why he perpetuates his presence on the cross in the Eucharist. See, his love was so infinite at that moment that it could only exist for all time and space. And that's why we have to have the Eucharist in history. The Eucharist wow. is the way that the sacred heart's piercing of itself is perpetuated throughout history. Um, and so it's just like, oh my Lord, I, just, I love it. I love the priesthood. It's I, so <laughs> what, what you said was so profound. How you said it was um, that you are crucified so that it's your parishioners and those that you take care of can be resurrected. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. So let That's us so pray good. for more priests to live from the cross. Yes. Pray First of all, me and my own poverty and sinfulness may continue living from the cross, um, and that yes. Jesus will be merciful to me. And, um, and let us also pray that, that more priests will live from the cross of Jesus. Mm. And just know again that I love all of you so, so much. And I so beautiful. The gift of being a priest for you, and I give all my breath into, and I commend it to the hands of the Father every day so that you can live in the resurrection of the glory of Jesus. <laughs> wow, thank you. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. God bless you all. I got to run. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. We'll be praying for you, Father. Thank you. The Lord with you. <laughs> and also with you. God bless you, Father. All right. God bless you, Father, Son. Spirit. Amen. Go Amen. Y'all dearly see you soon, okay? <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Bye, guys. God bless.